Hi everybody, this is Ellen of Moon Park. I'm saying hello from my Brooklyn apartment. And um, I hope everybody is staying safe and healthy and keeping your spirits up and trying to support one another as much as possible during these times. Um, I'm very happy to share some music with you today uh, with the instruments that I do have with me here in my house. I don't have everything with me, but we'll give it a shot. Um, so the first song that I wanted to share is one of my favorite songs. It's called CC Sima, and I learned it from my friend Taechung back in 2011 when I recorded it for Rabbit Days and Dumplings, my first album. And um, it's a Tibetan jump rope song. So this is like a rhyme that kids can sing while they're jump roping, which gives you a very good idea of how to dance to the song. And usually when we play this on our live shows, we use a tambourine to, to mimic the sound of the jump rope hitting the ground so you know when to jump. I unfortunately don't have a tambourine here, but um, I did recently buy these in uh, Morocco when I visited some friends there. These are called karkavas, and they're kind of like Moroccan castanets um, that are used in Gnawa music, and they're really, really beautiful. They're played so well. This is not actually strung up yet, but uh, this is what I thought could maybe make the sound of the jump rope hitting the ground, so I'm gonna try to to tap these with my foot while we're singing the song. Let's see if that works, if you can hear that. Okay, great. So there are two lines in the song that tell you what you can do when you're jump roping. So as you're jump roping, if you hear me say, that means you turn in a circle to the right while you're jumping. And then the next line is, and that just means you turn in a circle to the left while you're jumping. And then after that comes the real rhyme. Zama zama siki, zama tiku tiku nuki tiku, which you'll hear a couple times. And when we do this in the show, we ask the audience when we sing the rhyme the third time to clap along with us. So maybe we can try that all together. So let's try it out. So if we can hear the sound of the karkavas, that's the sound of the jump rope hitting the ground. We could clap along to it. There we go. We all clap along together. All right, let's try it. Sissi simo mate lehi wo mate kora ye koshigan chama kora ye koshigan kora ye koye laka na ye kutsiko chajik kora yun koye laka na ye kutsiko chajik zama zama siki zama tiko tiko nogi tiko churn ye la kanchi machen ye la toshu Wow, 
uh, keep that Karkovas beat. I really appreciate my drummer, Colin Brooks, when I play that one. Um, so you can see now my other instrument, which is one of my favorite instruments because I've been playing it since I was five years old. It's the violin. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the violin. have seen it before, but just so you know, this is the violin. This is a bow in my right hand that you use this to pull across the strings to make the sounds. You can also pluck the strings of a violin just like you would with a guitar or a mandolin like this. And as you can see, you can play one note at a time. You can also play two notes at once. That's the violin. Quick introduction. All right, what should we do next? Uh, let's go back to the Rabbit Days and Dumplings album and uh, let's try a song called Zui Zui Zukurobashi. And this is another one of my favorite songs. It's a Japanese, what I like to call nonsense song because there's no clear meaning to the song. Lots of weird things happen. Um, like a rice bowl is broken and a mouse is running around saying choo 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 and the mother's asking who broke the rice bowl and the father's asking who broke the rice bowl and nobody knows. Um, and what's fun about the song is that it, it accompanies a game and it's a game that kids can play um, with their hands. But I also made up a clapping game for it which I thought we could try. Um, you could do it by yourself, or if you have a partner, a friend, or a parent in the house that wants to do it with you, that could be fun too. So I'll do it with the camera right now, see if you can follow it. It goes zooey zooey, so you'd be slapping the hand, the right hand of the other person. Zooey zooey, zukurubashi, go ma miso zooey, chatsu mone o arete topin shan, nuke da da don doko sho. And right here, when you hear chew, we're going to say chew three more times and do three more high tens. Chew, chew, chew. Oto san ga yon demo, oko san ga yon demo, iki i no shi ya. Idon no mawari de ochevan kaita no dare. All right. Great. Messed up the lyrics a little bit there, but you know. Japanese is not my first language, and it's the only language I sing in, which is a really fun thing about these songs, is sing in lots of different languages. So, did you get the game? So it's clap, clap, slap, clap, clap, high ten, every time in the song. And let's just try it a couple times, and try it with the clapping, and the last time, we'll do it three times, and the last time we'll go a little faster. We'll see how fast we can get. All right, so. So, ready with your hands? One, two, one, two, three, four.
All right. Did you keep up? I hope so. I always love that song. It's a really, really fun one. So I said I didn't have that many instruments uh, here with me. I have my violin, I have my harana. Another one I want to show you is the mandolin, another favorite of mine. I have this makeshift string around it now that I was using for a music video. You might know the mandolin is tuned just like the violin in fifths, but the strings are doubled and I usually play it with a pick so that I can do this. But you can also play chords. I also want to show you one other instrument. Um, this is an instrument that we all have in our houses and it's a really great time to learn an instrument that's sitting around in our houses right now. These are the spoons. So really all you need is two spoons. You put them back to back like this so that their backs are touching each other, backs of the spoons. Put your finger in the middle and hold it nice and tight so that there's a little space between the spoons. And I'm sure you've seen people do this before. And then you can slap it on your knee like that. So it makes a nice little percussive instrument, pretty loud percussive instrument. And then if you put your hand above it, you can widen your fingers on this hand and make it a percussion instrument too, like that. So it's a good time to play the spoons and to learn to play the spoons. And uh, I wanted to show the spoons because this th next song has this kind of spoon-like fast energetic beat. So there's a line that you can sing along in the song and it's very, very simple. So the line is just, ooh, 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 ooh. We try that together. Ooh, 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 ooh. So we can try that line with the beat. Let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Got it? All right. So I've been working on a new album. Uh, it is going to be called Unhurried Journey, and it's going to be released uh, this May, I hope. And um, it's inspired by a very special collaborator of mine named Christiana Parn. And um, you might have seen Christiana's artwork before. She did the art for my first album, Rabbit Days and Dumplings, and she, she creates very magical worlds um, with lots of really special characters. And this song is based on one of her pieces. So this is a song called Brilliant New Idea. And it's really the first time I've ever sung this uh, in front of any people before. So I really need your help, especially on this part. All right, let's give it a shot. All right. Hand popping, foot stomping, all welcome. When I was younger, I was wise. When I was younger, I would rest to hear those morning lullabies. Now I am older, I have time to
last time. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, thanks so much for watching these new songs. It's, uh, it's been really, really fun. Uh, one more instrument to show you that I do have in the house is my trumpet, my trusty trumpet. Um, I never really learned to play the trumpet. I uh, played French horn in the middle school and high school band and um, maybe secretly always wanted to play the trumpet um, when I joined Dan Zanes and Friends in 2006. Um, you know, Dan was like, oh, you want to play the trumpet? Well, why don't we get a trumpet and try to play it on stage, which is what I did. So my trumpet playing is kind of on the level of a middle high school, middle school, high school band student. But you can see this is a mouthpiece. It makes noise on its own. If you buzz into it like this. And you put the mouthpiece in the instrument. Sounds like this. instruments at once and sing a song but here's a, a little instrumental for the song I'm going to sing next. It is like this. So that is the melody of a song called Santoki and Santoki is a Korean children's song very famous Korean children's song. I think it might have been the first song I ever learned growing up. And it's about a mountain rabbit that's bouncing into the hillside and nobody knows where the rabbit's going or what the rabbit's doing. The second half of the song you, fig you learn that um, the rabbit is collecting uh, chestnuts. So what a great song, right? That's all you need to know. I'm gonna teach you the chorus and there are some great hand motions that go along with it. We have to first transform ourselves into rabbits. This is my rabbit. Your rabbit can, can look, you know, however you want it to look. Um, so the chorus says, San toki toki ya, which just means mountain rabbit, mountain rabbit. The next line is, Odirun kanunya, which means where are you going? So we go like this, Odirun kanunya. Next line is, Gangchu, gangchu, tim yonso, which means bouncing, bouncing while you run. So we can put our paws up like this and go, gangchu, gangchu, tim yonso, bouncing, bouncing while you run. And the last line again is, odiru kanunya, where are you going? And we like to walk. Odiru kanunya. So the whole thing together goes like this. San toki toki ya, odiru kanunya. And you can sing the other chorus, which is just toki 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 ya, which just means rabbit. So that's the time to do all of your rabbit dances. Toki 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 ya, toki toki, whatever you want to do as a rabbit dance. All right, let's try a little acoustic version of San Toki. <clears throat> So, it is good for hand clapping and foot stomping, but you know, and jumping around. But uh, mostly you get your rabbits up. Got your rabbits? All right, let's try. San toki toki ya, odiru kanen ya, gangchi gangchi dimyon so, odiru kanen ya. Everybody wonders where San
climb some mountain peaks all on her own to find some plum chestnuts and bring bring them home. San koge kogeru na honda no so tosh tosh alamu chu wa so ultea toki toki. version of San Toki. Um, thanks again so much for joining me and uh, singing along hopefully, dancing along hopefully to some music. Really is a reminder how we are also connected locally, globally, and um, how important it is to support um, our fellow people and our fellow earth. And um, I feel very lucky and fortunate to be able to play music with people around the world and to meet people through my music around the world. And I thank you for that. Um, I wrote a song yesterday um, inspired by another one of Christiana's pieces of art called Acorn Sweet Acorn. So here's this final lullaby I would like to offer up and um, huge thank you to everybody for joining me today. And um, another huge thank you to all the medical providers and the service workers and the policy makers who are out there um, trying to keep us safe and healthy. I also hope you stay safe and healthy. Acorn, sweet acorn, sweet acorn I see Swaying on a branch of the old oak tree Acorn, sweet acorn, sweet acorn will sway And rock us so gently from night until day our sweetest slumber, dreaming free. Our sweetest slumber, under the old oak tree. Acorn, sweet acorn, sweet acorn, we'll try to cherish each moment as time passes by. Acorn, sweet acorn, sweet acorn, it's time to turn notes to melody and words into rhyme for our sweetest slumber, for yours and for mine. Thank you so much. <laughs>